welcome back to the Wild Cherry Farm. Today we're diving into a seasonal reflection and intention setting practice that I love to do at the end of each season, whether it's the end of summer, autumn, winter or spring. This simple practice helps me get a better overview of the past three months and set my focus for the next three months. I find that planning and reflecting in three months chunks works perfectly because it's not as overwhelming as a whole year, yet it's long enough for significant things to happen. Plus, the number three just resonates with me. I find it easier to keep track of three things rather than more. So if this sounds like something you would enjoy, get a notebook or your idea book and let's reflect together. If you journal, go ahead and take that out too. If not, you probably have photos on your phone that remind you of the past few months. Those work too. Whatever you have that reminds you of what happened over the last three months is good. Take a few moments to look back through those old photos, read a few journal entries, but try not to get stuck there. I can sometimes spend too much time there and don't get anything else done. So maybe try and set yourself a time frame of 15 or 20 minutes. To keep this simple, I have narrowed it down to three reflection questions and two intention setting questions. If you want to dive deeper, you can subscribe to my newsletter where I share a free printable with more detailed journaling prompts. But for today, let's keep it easy and manageable. Here are three questions for your seasonal reflection. Number one. What were the main things that happened over the last three months? Think about any significant events, like trips, big work projects, personal changes or family milestones. You can list them out in bullet points. Try and keep it simple. So take a few minutes now and write your answers down. You can pause the video and come back or journal with me. Number two, what did you find challenging in the last three months? Reflect on the obstacles or difficulties you faced. Again, bullet points work great here. The idea is to acknowledge what was tough without dwelling on it. So let's go. Number three, what were your highlights or what are you grateful for? List the things that brought you joy or moments you are thankful for. This can be anything from small wins to big achievements. Write down as many as you can think of. Again, take a few minutes and write down your answers now. Now let's set some intentions for the next three months. 
I'm not calling these goals because I find intentions feel lighter and more flexible. Like setting a rudder in a certain direction without being rigid about how exactly you will get there. Here are the two questions for setting your seasonal intentions. Number one, pick three things you want to focus on over the next three months. These could be anything, improving relationships, nurturing your creativity, focusing on your health, learning a new skill, or even just finding more time for yourself. It's about choosing areas where you would like to see some change or growth. Take a few minutes to think about your three main areas and write them down now. Number two, what could help you make these intentions happen? Think about the tools, habits or decisions that will support your intentions. Maybe you need to schedule time, set reminders or even ask for support from someone else. Brainstorm what could help you turn these intentions into reality. Write down anything that comes to mind. You can always revise later. Reflecting on the past and setting intentions for the future, you create a meaningful seasonal practice that keeps you aligned with your goals and values. It's a simple yet powerful way to stay connected to yourself through the rhythm of the seasons. I hope you found this practice helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share with anyone who might benefit from a little seasonal reflection. And if you would like more journaling prompts and tips, don't forget to check out my newsletter for a free printable with more in-depth questions. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to hear about your reflections and intentions in the comments below. Until next time, take care.